Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about running and chasing and clarify a few things for you because it gets really confusing out there. And the very first thing to know is that it seems to happen to almost everyone so that so much it's like a phenomenon, like, okay, it's a given, it's a running and chasing kind of thing, right? you're not a couple of squirrels chasing each other around this gets exhausting this is such ancient mammal behavior and that's number one you need to pay attention to yourself if this is exhausting for you because that's not going to energize you it's going to keep sucking out your energy your precious love energy so who are you giving this to anyway you need to retain it for yourself so we're going to talk about keep your light body alive. I don't want to see anyone who is withering on the vine as the result of someone running away from you or worse, because we have seen cults where people have gotten in trouble with the law. They have had orders of protection against them because they're chasing and chasing and chasing and the person doesn't like it. So it goes beyond giving someone space. Once you've broken away, it's time to focus on your light body, period. That's number one. How do you know? You feel hurt, insecure, unsure. You feel really lost in this. Even if you look around the internet and Google and you try to get answers like, who was this person? I feel like I got hit by a car. This feels like some kind of weird hit and run, like I'm laying bleeding on the pavement and I don't know where this is going. Like, what was that? Yes, it can feel like that. Now, some people have this happen where the person they're involved with suddenly breaks up. It could be a marriage situation. And again, the answer is the same. You focus on yourself and you focus on your light body. You want to keep your light body alive so that you're not depleted and you don't run out of energy for whatever your next steps are. And there will be next steps. Doesn't mean you're keeping yourself energetic for whenever that bozo decides to show up and, you know, pull up like a gas station and just siphon off, you know, like... Have you seen these things for the electric cars? They're made to look just like a gas station. I mean, they could have had a plug. They could have had anything, but they have like a little gas tank thing and a receptacle. Like, sorry, don't be anyone's receptacle. Don't be anyone's receptacle where whatever they put into you, they siphon off all your good stuff, all your good energy. Take heed here. Don't be hasty. Be for yourself, okay? And that might seem counterintuitive when we talk about twin flames. You're not supposed to give them money. You're not supposed to make endless sacrifices for them. You're not supposed to wait endlessly by the phone. Working on your light body gives you what your next steps are. You begin to get guidance. You begin to give fruitful messages, things that actually make sense to you. Remember that we are in an energy where messages could be a bunch of bullshit. It's going to be gobbledygook. So please be aware that working on your light body is the best thing you can do sometimes. And I know how to help you do that. I know how to get it open, expanded. You're going to feel symptoms anyway if you don't. Might as well start working on it. What else could you feel if someone, if you feel like you have to chase someone or they're running away or both? And I don't care if you say to yourself, well, I'm kind of the runner because I hesitate on this or that. I don't care. Work on your light body. Well, I chased and I chased and I chased or I feel like they're chasing me. I don't care. Work on your light body. Doesn't matter which label you give yourself here. You could be not sure what to believe or who to believe. And I have people say this again and again and again. Well, the tarot card reader said this. I don't know if I should believe it. I'm not sure anymore if this is my twin. Bingo, right there. Focus on yourself. Focus on your part of your light body. That's your light body. It's yours. It is your twin flame body. That's why you were activated. I mean, who isn't here to find their soulmate? Who isn't here to find their ultimate love? I mean, those people, yeah, they got a lot, lot of like 
probably negative things going on. But here in this level of vibration, that's us, ladies and gentlemen, that's us. Do you feel depressed, sad, and crying? Are you pining or feeling a nostalgia for something that you're grasping for, something that you dreamt? Did someone kiss you in your dreams and you can't really see them, but you feel like so compelled to find that person? That's my story. I was so compelled. I searched all over the city. I did all kinds of things. I accepted invitations. Yeah, I met some nice people, but honestly, this is why it can be very confusing until I decided to listen to my heart and focus on the only thing that really matters. My heart connected to the body that is the body that's connected to those upper planes. That's where it started for me. Did I meet false twins? Hell yeah, I met false twins. I had two significant things where they were false twins. And it one of them went south so fast. I was like, whoa. All the issues came up. You're not here to help a soulmate heal their crap, okay? If their issues are coming up, you're not supposed to be a paragon of patience and apply for sainthood. No, please, don't be anyone sugar mama, sugar daddy. Don't be their mama, don't be their daddy. Don't, you know, if they're an adult, they have tossed the ball back into their court, you can be gently and you say, You'll sort it out. I have faith in you. And get it off your shoulders. You do not need that burden. Take my word for it. Doesn't matter if they need a green card, if they have a complex, if their daddy beat them, if their mommy beat them, if they're a drug addict. Stop, stop, stop. Stop being an enabler. That's being an enabler, okay? Again, you focus on your own light body because your own light body will help you with what needs to be done. In other words, what actions are necessary. And if it's the wrong person, you'll keep deflecting and moving away from that person. And I've had a lot of people where they get involved with a scammer. Yeah, $40,000, $80,000. And I mean a scam where it's like, I love you, I love you, I need $80,000 to make my film while I sleep with this other woman. Yeah, those kind of scams. It's, it's way thrown around a lot. Be wise. Use the sense that God gave the animals, really. Because, you know, a lot of animals, they know when someone's abusing them. They kind of cringe and they're like, uh, you, you act like you're going to pet me, but you've hit me before, right? Sometimes they are so much smarter than us. Okay, this does affect your self-esteem. I don't care what anyone says. If you have to chase someone down, Demand answers. Why are they keeping you off balance? For real. You don't know where you stand with people like that. And it happens on the job. I mean, I know people say this is narcissistic behavior. If you're saying your twin flame's a narcissist, then you are too. And that's not a ha-ha. That's like, be aware of like, what exactly kind of mixed messages are you sending here? Okay? And again, through your light body, even if you've been narcissistic, you're going to get rid of that because it does not belong in a twin flame union. So how to? You connect through your body. Your light body, your chakras. Your chakras are the individual parts for you. You have shared parts with each other. And these are connected into your physical human body and on the surface of your body. And I know where those points are. That's a lot of what we cover in my classes so that people can do this and find success. Just see some of the testimonials on my website. Extra parts, okay? You're opening extra parts. You have a new twin flame body connections. So how do we do this? We do this in several ways. The oscillation effect. I know how to create the oscillation effect that leads to merging and alchemy. The things that people call alchemy, which is mixing divine masculine and divine feminine energy until it it's like it doesn't explode it like glows and it lights you up and it heals you and it heals those parts creating the oscillation effect um some people feel this passively but they don't know how to create it i teach it i do past lives 
What is it about your past lives? Now, look, you've had good past lives with your twin flame, but you're going to remember a lot of the icky ones. We talked a lot about in this class that I had on Sunday. Past lives, what is it showing you? Why would you think they'd be repeated? Well, because karma has repeated and repeated and repeated, and it keeps looping and loop. We're stopping the looping effect, and we're getting off of those. But you're retaining the good stuff, the good nostalgia and sweetness and purity and all those things you enjoy. You can get my presentations that I did on my website or in the links below if you would like to review these and learn. Uh, it's a recording of the webinar class that I had. Inner child, inner child. It may not be this child. You may have had an idyllic childhood. What about your twin? Okay, like you're sharing these parts, you're trying to come into each other, like you're bumping up against things inside each other that you don't want to carry forward. What happened to them? How were they disciplined? What about their past lives? I saw one of my son's past lives. He was a child coal miner and I saw it flash and it like it made me cry because how many kids died or he had black lung disease and like, these are the lives of some of the males, the really hard knock lives, dying young, short lives, short, almost fruitless lives. Like what did we accomplish? We were just sort of a gear in the wheels. This is why a lot of men feel that they've been a part of the matrix. They have been part of those gears. You're here for love. You're here for love now. Who isn't looking for their love? A lot of people. But this is how we do it as twin flames. And it cuts to the chase. Things that take you a year can be accomplished in five to six months in terms of rid yourself of past lives. You know what else past life? Just imagine if someone had black lung disease in their past life, what would they experience in this life? Would that account for possibly, wow, they have stage four lung cancer, who knew? And they never smoked a day in their life. It's a body memory. And I've actually, I had a friend, her mother lived with that condition for seven years. And she seemed to be the picture of health, but ultimately she did pass over. And it was a very rapid passing. So none of us want to suffer from these chronic things. We do sessions for this, sessions for this. Sometimes they overlap. Or the loss of the spirit body through death. I was just talking to a friend of mine and we were even just talking about architecture, right? We're driving around and I say, well, I kind of like those kind of houses. They, they're very evocative of like, uh, you know, a country estate, sort of French provincial. And she said, I hate those kind of houses that look like they're on the East Coast and they have the turrets and the thing. And I said, oh, the widow's walk. She goes, yeah. She goes, when my twin went off to sea and then never came back and I was just so bereaved and grieved. And I was like, yeah. How many of us, when we've lost our love, the person we love and who loved us, and what were our lives like that after? Pretty much a dead-end life. We were just some unmarried relative or unwanted relative, right? People had shuttle us to the side, force us to work, force us to the poorhouse. So loss of spirit through death, okay? Running and chasing should lead you into the state where you want to work on your light body and really dig out these things and heal them for good forever forever and ever and kiss each other forever and ever. How do you believe that I get people to feel their etheric twin, their 5D twin coming to them, kissing to them, healing something in or on them, okay? So you can start with a spirit chat. There's no energy work done in this, but we can talk about all of this and whatever else is on your plate that you need to address. Or for energy healing, I recommend my Twin Flame Reconnection session. We have a lot more sessions. Check out my website at twinflamereconnection.com. 
Thanks so much for watching. Keep liking and subscribing. Uh, it helps the channel a lot. And the more we get the word out that there is something to be done, then I'm very humbled when I see that this works and it does work. I've been guided in an appropriate way to help it be proper for you. Loving, uplifting, all of that. Take out the junk, fill you with love. That's how it works. Unplug, boot you up, get you on track, okay? And no, you're you're not a car that has lost its wheel, okay? Okay, don't say the training wheels came off because guess what? The help is right here, right here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Let me know how I can help. Bye.